and welcome to Life is Peachy. On this glorious day, I am so happy that summer is finally here. In fact, I will just lift up my glasses so I can see you properly. And today, my top tip is all about stress because I've been doing an online course with a lady called Kristen Sweeting Morelli, and she's been talking about stress. And I've also did an interview quite a while ago with a lady called Lisa Grace Byrne, which is about stress and overwhelm. So here's the interesting thing from the Lisa Grace Byrne interview, which is on the Ignite Your Mama Mojo series. She was saying that when we feel stressed, it's like we push a little button that releases this stress hormone into our bodies, but it only lasts six to 20 seconds. The, the stress. So if you think of a situation, and I, I can think of a few <laughs> that I've had over the years, where you're feeling stressed for a prolonged period, it's because you keep pressing the button saying, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. And what makes you press that button is a stressful thought. So that was the interesting, the first interesting thing. So it only lasts six to 20 seconds. So if you stopped thinking that thought after 20 seconds, it would be gone. The stress would be gone internally, I'm not saying externally. Um, and the other interesting thing that she said was that you can either, your brain can only think of one thing, it can't think of two. So when you're thinking a calm thought, you can't think a stressful thought. And when you're thinking a stressful thought, you can't think a calm thought. So that was quite empowering to know that just by choosing our thoughts, we can reduce our stress. And I know that sounds very easy in, um, in theory, but not so easy in practice, but it's just an idea to put out there. So then in the last few weeks, I've been doing an online course with a lady called Kristen Sweeting Morelli, and she's been interviewing experts on stress to do with the feminine power and everything. And one of the interesting things that came up in her, one of her interviews was that the majority of women and I don't know what figure she gave, but I think it was in the 90% figure, are addicted to cortisol, which is our stress hormone. Which means that even when we're feeling calm and not in a stressful situation, sometimes we can be, because we're addicted to that drug, almost in your body, natural drug in your body, that you actually create situations to give yourself another fix, which is frightening. So, this tip, top tip is not all bad news because the antidote to stress, and this is so peachy, the antidote to stress is pleasure. Okay? So, this week I've been trying to think and do lots of things I find pleasurable. And it's not just, it's not, you've got to think about all your senses. So, think about things that you like to smell, things you like to see. Um, things that you want to touch your skin or hear. So it's not just listening to music, it could be scented candles, it could be sitting outside I'm near my honeysuckle tree. Um, I went down to the sea this week to swim in the sea and that just felt amazing, just that tingling on my skin. And I've been trying to think of as many pleasurable activities that I can do so that I know Okay, if ever I'm in a situation which is feeling a bit stressful, I can quickly, you know, go back to a situation or even just remembering a situation which gave me pleasure and that will negate the stress. So I'd like to invite you to think of things that give you pleasure, any things that give you pleasure, and... Um, Bear those in mind when you're feeling stressed and see if you can incorporate them into your day because it's like the antidote and prevention is better than cure, I say. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this top tip. I hope you're having a fabulous week in the sunshine and I will speak to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.